You don't need to spend a fortune if you if you fancy having a go at spinning. You can collect wool from farm fences and hedgerows. You can make your own drop spindle, and you can card the wool with using by using a dog flicker comb or um, just one of those tough stainless steel combs that you might comb your own dog with. Now I'm going to show you how to make one of these. They spin really, really well. The, it's probably the, the nicest spindle I've got actually, and I've got several, but it's so light and because of the big whirl it, it spins continuously for a lot longer. All you need are two old CDs, put them face to face, a length of dowel, if you can look, I actually sharpened that one with a big chunky pencil sharpener, so you don't really have to even be good at whittling. And I did the same to that end and screwed in a tiny hook eye. I did open the hook out slightly. Um, now these little grommets you can buy in one of those places where you bit bits and bobs for your car. Um, they come in packs of three or four usually. And what you do is put it in the middle. I think that was a half inch one or whatever the metric equ equivalent is. It may feel slightly loose in the middle but once you put your dowel in it presses it against the hole in the centre of the CD and I need to twist it to get it in. Well, the nice thing about this is it can be used either as a bottom whirl spindle like that or you can push it up to the top if you prefer the top whirl variety, some spinners do, and you can use it that way. It works just as well either way. And, um, I'll just show you it in action. It will spin. I have to move back a little. It will spin continuously to store up saved twists for quite a long time without oscillating too much. A spindle that's offset will oscillate a lot and Well, it's just stopped spinning now. There we are. So, there you have it. You can hook it and wind it on. And away you go again. Ready to go.